Parasite SEO with Medium. How hard can it be? People have been doing it successfully for a long time. As we know lately, sites like LinkedIn, Reddit, Medium, they're actually doing better than a lot of the old parasites that were really expensive, like Outlook India, JPost, all of those. So it seems like if you can just sign up and blast away. Now, LinkedIn seems to be the most powerful, but it does have some restrictions. So I found by posting, I very quickly hit a verification warning where I had to submit my passport and prove that I was a real person. I tried again with an, a separate aged account that I bought and soon enough also hit that passport verification. Now, suppose that you can get around that if you buy LinkedIn Premium. Arguably, you're under less scrutiny then. But for the meantime, let's have a go with Medium. It doesn't seem to be as effective as LinkedIn, but of course, if you find a keyword that works for you, you want LinkedIn, Medium, Reddit, your own website, you just want to take over that page one. So how hard can it be? I was just going to test it out now, partly because those people have been asking about indexing in my comments, but I thought rather than just show you the end result and get it indexed, let's go through the full process while I'm at it. So first of all, membership, friend, it's trying to sell you stuff. Just go to the bottom, continue with a free account. I'm not aware of any limitations on indexing that way. So this is an example I'd like to emulate. Supposedly this page is getting 5,600 visitors per month and this top result, Mubert, pays a 30% recurring commission rate. So I'm keen to get on that. Whether I'll still be able to after publicly announcing it to my thousands of followers, I'm not too sure, but build along with me, we'll see who wins. Let's not forget the thing with Parasite SEO, which is both a blessing and a curse is basically keyword cannibalizer. If a site like Medium, LinkedIn is already ranking for a good keyword, then there seems to be a recency bias. If you publish a new post, then quite often you can basically swap out that old post for your new post and steal their rankings. So that's been the tough thing I found with LinkedIn. You go right up immediately, but then very quickly die off. Now, I might have found a solution to that. I recommend with any Parasite SEO, make sure you do some off-page. Most people just publish the page and forget about it. And that's also why they're having this issue with indexing. So first of all, get the page indexed. I'll show you how to do that. Secondly, I'd recommend using a tool like Money Robot, GSA, Ranker X to basically blast automated spammy links at this Parasite post. Now, you wouldn't want to build those to your own website, but to a Parasite page, Google's not going to take down Reddit, LinkedIn, any of those in the near future, just because one person has got some spammy links pointing at their page. So if I just log into my virtual private server, people ask me, I use Contabo, that's about $10 a month. I've been reminded you then need to install Windows on it, which is about an extra $15, $20 per month or so. And then Money Robot is about 70 per month. I'll leave a link below. But you can see it working away here. It's building social likes and shares, Web 2.0 blogs. And most of my projects on the side here are Parasite pages. So you create a new campaign, slam in your Parasite URL there, put in your keyword there, create a unique article using the article builder. It'll spit one out here. And we go for high competition because why not? If the power is available, we want as much power as we can. Then we have CTR Booster, which is basically a bot using a proxy. Make sure you use the proxies from TurboWare because they work, where you basically set your geolocation. So we've got a load of randomized points in the US, our target location. Whole list of keywords here from Ahrefs, in this case, Injury Lawyer SEO. Then my LinkedIn article goes in there. And we're sending between 40 and 80 clicks per day. And you can watch it working on the server where we'll go through this list, search the keyword, click on your result. And the point is it's clicking on your result, not a competitor. This seems to be really powerful on Parasite pages, helping both to push your article higher up and also keep it there, stop competitors coming in. Now, as an extra step, a couple of years ago, I bought a domain from Odis Global. Odis Global is a retailer or marketplace rather of powerful expired domains. So these are domains which were used by companies before that attracted loads of powerful backlinks and then for one reason or another, didn't renew that domain. So they've got a whole marketplace. If you see my description below, there's my invite code that you can use to get access and get approved. And then you'll see all these domain names which have got all this power pointing at them, all these Powerful backlinks, these are domains with a high domain rating. Now I bought a domain from them years ago that I didn't really use, but it was very relevant to the niche of one of my Parasite posts. So a couple of weeks ago, you can see it on my channel. I did a little test where I redirected that powerful domain name straight at my Parasite post. So this is that page in Ahrefs. So you can see it went up, it had that nice peak. So it was getting 10,000 visitors per month, but then started to die off and came down as low as 3,000 visitors per month. So a third of where it used to be. I then redirected this domain and the blue line represent backlinks, referring domains, 
which were pointing at the domain, but as that domain is now pointing at the parasite page, all those links went to the parasite page. And generally I am seeing positive results from this. We can see quite a clear inflection point where the graph was flatlining in terms of keywords and even declining. If I just move my cursor out of the way. But then as that blue line of referring domains goes up, we see a clear correlation with more traffic and also stability. We stopped the drop. Traffic does seem to have come down a little bit, but it's still early days. Backlinks like this do take a while to have their full impact. I'd overall say this is a positive correlation compared to the big drop we were seeing before the redirect. So let's have a go with medium. So we go to write. Now we need our keyword. So from my research, I identified this best music production software keyword. It's number one, 2,800 searches per month, getting total visitors of about 4,000 visitors per month. Because of course, there's loads of different ways of writing best music production software, 186 total keywords. Now I like to go to Surfer. This bit isn't essential, there's various ways around this, but Surfer is my favorite. Basically, we need to optimize the on-page for Google based on what's already ranking. And basically that means using entities. So Google's this massive machine, it's got to basically try and assess the on-page quality of all these different articles on the internet, work out what they're about. And once it's classified a load that all talking about the same stuff, how does it know which one's better and which isn't? So Google can't actually read content, but it can go through and basically work out how comprehensive it is based on what we call entities. So the stuff of the article. So basically to, to really master on-page SEO, you basically want the same kind of structure, same time kind of keywords, headings as your top 10 competitors. So you can do that manually, or you can do, use a tool like Surfer, which will basically work out not only your main keyword and how many times to use it, but all the related entities to include. So I've set this up to look at the top 10 competitors for best music production software in the United States. If I didn't have the budget for Surfer, then I'd probably attempt to use ChatGPT, either use URLs or copy and paste competing articles into ChatGPT and tell it to extract entities from it. There's probably a few tools for free out there as well, just for this purpose of extracting entities and the number of times each, each one is used. So I just had a quick Google, there do seem to be some out there, but if you do have the budget, I really recommend Surfer. So that article template is now complete and you can see what I mean. So those people talk about on-page SEO is just using a keyword five times. No, what we can see here is we need an article that's 3,000 to 3,500 words long. We want to use best music production software six to 13 times, music production software 14 to 35 times, digital audio workstation four to eight times. You get the idea. But overall, we're aiming for a content score of around 70 to 80. So this is the kind of content score we need to try and get because if we look at the competitors, including that Medium article, they're at 79, so very clear correlation there. They've got very high content score. They're at number one. And we've got a few others around the low to mid 70s. So that's what we need to aim for. You used to have to do this manually, but now I just use ChatGPT. Going to have some comparisons coming up between ChatGPT, Gemini, Perplexity, all these other AI tools people are recommending now. I still like to stick with the classics. I always say with these things, it's not about the tools. Most of the time, these tools are not cheat codes. Normally they are distractions. So generally, as long as the tool is 80% good enough, then you might as well stick with what you know, rather than always trying to chase and have the latest, greatest tool. So what I like to do now is just copy all of these requirements from Surfer. Now we need a three and a half thousand word long article, and that's too much for a single ChatGPT response. So I say start writing a long form blog post on the best music production software i will prompt you for more sections use the following entity the number of times indicated after zero slash in quotation marks and then we paste in all these entities which all have zero slash before the number of times required so let's go and this shouldn't take long okay so that's given us quite a long section which is very good complete with headings now we just say keep writing meanwhile we can go to the outline tab in surfer which provides us with these additional q a's these are taken from the people also ask snippet so with these i just say answer the following in an nlp format so we'll just wait for the last prompt to finish so i'll get those answered now in the meantime i can copy these two sections over and we'll see how well we've scored so far so already up to 62, and that's just with the basics so far. Let's move that conclusion to the bottom. So hopefully you're getting these answers in the format of the question as a heading and then a paragraph underneath. Sometimes it can take a little bit of tweaking to get that format. So now we copy those over into the Surfer template. Okay, now we've tried to insert in as many of these as possible using ChatGPT and priming it, but we can also use this helpful insert terms feature 
which is where Surfer itself will go in and try and add in as many as it can. Now, while we're waiting for that to start, we don't currently have a heading, so sometimes ChatGPT will do it, sometimes it doesn't, as in this case. That's currently set to P, paragraph, but we want that as the H1, and that's already brought us up to 68. So we're getting very close to that average score of 72. Let's see what happens if we go through these and just do accept, accept, accept. And there we go, 88. So we now have the best article on the internet, at least in these optimizations eyes, way ahead of the current top ranking article of 79, 70, 74, 74. So our on page is pretty much on the nail. So you can see less than 10 minutes, perfect article, beats everything else in the top 10. That's as far as on page goes, but remember the next most important thing is backlinks. That's why I run an agency focusing on building high quality backlinks whilst also optimizing your existing content. If you do both of those things, so take an existing site, optimize the content so it's truly next level like this, and then hit it with high quality backlinks, then the results three to six months down the line tend to be very significant. So just take this over to Medium and paste it in. Let's just format that correctly. Now I've already got an affiliate link for the offer I want to promote. I want to promote this Moobert. So I'm just going to go back to ChatGPT, write a paragraph for the intro where you explain why Moobert is top pick using this link for the CTA. So that will do. So I've got my affiliate link in there. Let's just make that a heading as well. Okay, so this is now good to go. Let's add a few of these topics. I don't really care that much, but anything to help with the indexing. So this probably gets us more mentions and visibility on the Medium platform. So that's now publishing. Now the problem those people seem to be experiencing with Medium uh, is actually whether the articles are indexable or not. I've heard the same with LinkedIn, but I bought an aged LinkedIn account that wasn't actually that long, that old, didn't have much activity on it or anything like that. And I was able to get articles indexed right away. I still hit the problem though of verification. So I'm still relying on my personal profile for LinkedIn because I'm able to verify it with my ID. I can't do that with this random aged LinkedIn account. So that very quickly got slammed. So Medium, what's it going to take to get this indexed? So first we can have a look at the page source. And I'm not seeing anything that looks like a no index tag. So far, I can't actually see anything, any reason why this would not be indexed. There's no no index tag on the page. I tried multiple different sources, extensions, page source, etc. So it looks like it should be fine. So the next question everyone's asking me is about indexing. How do you index your Parasite posts, whether on LinkedIn, Reddit, Medium? And the answer, at least for me, is Omega Indexer. It's really cheap. So each one to index is $0.02. Minimum deposit is $20. I think I'm on a plan that's about $20 a month. It gives me a thousand, which is great for the link building agency because loads of agencies will build links and not actually worry about getting them indexed. And that means they're building links for clients, but Google can't see those links, so there's no benefit. Whereas we make sure we index all the links we build for clients within the first couple of weeks of publishing them. So I pay about $20 a month. That gives me a thousand credits per month. Now, the way Omega Indexer works is basically Google news sites benefit from instant indexing because Google doesn't want to be promoting out of date news. So if you're a news registered website, then anytime you link out to someone, the Google crawler is forced to go and visit that website. At least that's what I've heard from other people in the industry as to Omega's exact. So basically they have a network of Google news websites. So we just go to campaigns, then new, and we copy our URL, we want medium. Now Omega's built for indexing thousands of links from basically more sort of automated mass commenting tools or mass link building tools like GSA, things like that. So you can see I've got 10,000 credits in my account. Um, and the idea is you can upload a massive file or API connect to it, but you can just still use it for an individual link. So you just put it in there, drip feed days, just one, because I've only got one link. You can do a batch if you want, but there's no real difference. And it just feels a bit incongruous, the fact that you've got this sort of mass upload option when you only want one link indexed. Also, if you're using LinkedIn, LinkedIn automatically adds loads of trackings, trackers to the end of the URL. So just be careful with that. Anything after a question mark in the URL is a tracker. Medium doesn't seem to have done that. So we only want to index the raw version of the URL. So just watch out for that. And then we just submit. So that'll take a couple of hours. Normally I leave it 24, 48 hours, something like that. And it'll keep you updated here with when the Google bot actually visits your link, including the, the time, the status, how many times it's been submitted. So all this will populate once it's actually gone through. So sometimes it can take a little longer, but generally if I submit this one evening, then generally by the next morning, I expect to have that site indexable or indexed rather. There is a 
check index button over here on the left, but I find it doesn't really work. So basically when I'm wanting to check my indexing, all I do is go to Google and do site colon and then paste in my URL and perform that search. And then if this URL is in the index, then it will show up here. So I'll come back in 24 hours and then this should be showing up here. And that's really it in terms of the essentials. What I would then do, like I say, is fire up my virtual private server, open Money Robot and start a new campaign, put my Money Sites URL here. Keyword to rank for is best music production software. We want a high competition blog network, create unique articles. This only takes a minute. And this tool will also help with indexing. So if you want, you could just skip Omega because this should have a similar effect. You're building so many links from big websites. We've got bookmarking sites, social websites, things like that. So that's another way to force indexing. It's just to bombard your parasite post with links, which will still help anyway with the rankings. So that's the article created and we can start that campaign and that'll just run in the background over the next few days. CTR booster obviously isn't going to have any effect until the article is indexed. But then as soon as it starts appearing in Google, I recommend making sure you're sending lots of visits to that individual listing, lots of different keywords using relevant location, but that will also enable you to rank that page much quicker and actually keep that ranking there. So I'll keep you informed in this case study. Accidentally, this is a fully open case study. I normally do obscure the actual niche and the actual product, but in this case, I stumbled upon AI music generation software whilst doing a case study, so there's no point hiding it, so I might as well build this one in public. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below if you've got any questions, but I'll let you know how this